Hello, today is Thursday, March 28, and we are not live whatsoever from Hiroshima City in Hiroshima Prefecture for a Pikmin Bloom Community Day. Hey, no, 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 it's not Community Day. <laughs> you know, just because we're out walking doesn't mean it's necessarily Community Day. Feels like it. No, we're here for a completely different reason. Actually, we came all the way from Akita, took a plane to Osaka late last night, and then we immediately got on a night bus. Have you ever slept on a bus? for only five hours. It's more like sleeping on a bus for like two and a half hours. This is not the sunset, this is the sunrise behind us, coming up behind us. So what's first on today's agenda? Well, first things first, we're gonna take a ferry to Itsukushima Jinja, which is known for its floating Tori gate, uh, which is actually one of the most famous uh, shrines in Japan. And I've always wanted to go there, but since we're far up north and Hiroshima is like down south, I didn't think we'd come here this soon, but something special is gonna open at 10 a.m. What is it? The Pikmin Terrace in Miyajima Service Area. It's like a Pikmin pop-up store kind of mm. place. Uh, lots of little Pikmin statues, cute things, exclusive merch. It actually has been opened since last December and it runs until August. So this is a huge window to come here to see it. And now that we're heading towards the uh, Fukuoka tour, we thought, hey, let's stop at Hiroshima on the way, finally get to check it out. Since it's so early, we're gonna have to do some touristy stuff first, then go to the Pikmin store when it opens. And then finally, near the end of the day, hopefully we'll get to see um, a lot of the historical stuff in Hiroshima. So we are packed. Yeah. Just packed <laughs> today for adventure. I, th I think we should get going. I think so too. We're fueled by five, five hours of sleep. Five, two and a half, <laughs> two and a half hours of sleep. Let's go. Let's go. go. Ah! We've just now arrived on the ferry, and you can see in the distance here, Miyajima Island. So we're heading there, we're gonna see the shrine. It's just a tiny red speck on the horizon right now. After an eight minute ferry ride and a 700 meter walk, we finally made it here. And look how gorgeous that is. We actually got lucky because we arrived kind of early, so there's not that many people. Unfortunately, it's a one in four chance to get shrine Pikmin. But I think we're still gonna take the risk as I want a Pikmin that says Miyajima. And I also want that postcard. Yeah, it looks so nice in the game, but if I don't get it, I'll, I'll probably attack the mushroom anyway. I hope I get lucky. Nice. I got forest. <laughs> All right, now it's my turn. So a one in four chance is already completely impossible to even get a shrine. And then on top of that, a one in seven chance to get a white Pikmin. And then on top of that, a one in five chance to get the exact Omikuji that I need. So this is completely impossible, but here we go. I got yellow because it's always yellow and it's a yellow shrine. <laughs> Every time it's yellow. <laughs>
At exactly 9 a.m. this morning, the brand new Curry Pikmin decor set has just dropped. Sad to say, no Curry Pikmin here, but we're hungry, so we're gonna have curry anyway. Let's eat. With the morning well spent, it was time to head back to the mainland. Service areas are Japan's version of rest stops, fantastic places to stop by on long commutes to fuel up on food, use the restroom, or just take a break from driving. That said, without a car, the Miyajima service area was extremely difficult to get to. After a lot of walking, we finally reached it. Well, I think you can't guess where we've just arrived. Of course, it's the Pikmin Terrace in Miyajima service area. Now, this is actually a very small event area, but there's a lot going on. So let's break it down. First, of course, we have this beautiful photo spot with the three main colored Pikmin. And not only that, we have some original art. Got these uh, traditional Japanese toy, I don't know the name, and a traditional Japanese snack, momiji. So they're carrying that, that's really cute. And then we've got the, the Tori Gate that's actually down there a bit of ways. Not only that, we have a special spot here. Swiping the special spot with this unique logo will give us a fortune decor Pikmin. Of course, I need only one white one to complete my set. I'll have to figure it out later when I have space to plant. Anyway, let's go check out the rest of the terrace. Pikmin are small, mysterious creatures. In terms of their classification, it remains unknown whether they are plants or animals. It seems that they develop the habit of following whoever plucks them. Pikmin have a habit of carrying fallen objects. Individually, they are weak, but by working together as a group, they can carry large objects. When a Pikmin drinks nectar, a flower blooms on its head. The sprout grows over time in the order of leaf, bud, flower. The more Pikmin grow, the faster they seem to get. Next up, we are in front of one of three Pikmin dioramas that they have in this area. Look at them, they're all doing such cute poses. So each of these have like different scenes and I think this one is based off of a Pikmin 4 scene. And aside from that, there's actually a really nice Tori gate in the background and you can also see the mountains and the ocean view of Hiroshima. What else is there to do? Let's go check out some exclusive merch at the shops. We ended up getting some of the exclusive merch here at Pikmin Terrace. 
very nice. I'll show you later. Point of interest here at the Pikmin Terrace is the Quiz Rally event. So it's a 600 yen for one participant and each participant gets a Pikmin visor. They're a bit different than the ones we normally get in the tour. So I was like, I want all three. There's only two of us. So we ended up buying three tickets for the rally, uh, getting all three visors. Unfortunately, it's raining right now. So we've stashed those away in our bag, but we'll end up giving the prize to Takesan back home. We have some quiz questions here. Of course, Japanese only. Uh, each question has three options. To choose them, we have to punch in on this card which option you choose. So let's go see question number one. Uh, red Pikmin and blue Pikmin are carrying what? We're gonna have to go back to the dioramas and see what they're carrying. We have A, Okonomiyaki. B, Momiji. C, Kaki, which I think is like oyster or shellfish. Well, looks like Momiji to me, so the answer is B. So now let's punch in B. Ta-da! Okay, question number two. My paper's getting a little soggy in the rain. Uh, who is relaxing on the blue tire? We have red Pikmin, blue Pikmin, or yellow Pikmin. As you can see on the blue tire, we've got yellow Pikmin. So the answer is C. And I'm punching in my answer, nice. There's two. Question number three. What are the blue, red, and yellow Pikmin carrying? We found it. It's a rice scoop, and we have three choices. Rice scoop A, B, lemon, or C, hairbrush. So let's go with A. Question number three. All right, and the Next question has two correct answers, so let's use our big brains. In the entire Miyajima service area, which Pikmin only appear once? We have A, Rock Pikmin, B, Purple Pikmin, or C, White Pikmin. So we have two choices here. I think it's Rock and White. I only saw one. I didn't see Purple at all, which is quite sad. He's one of my favorites. Um, but just to make sure, let's go double check the other zones. We almost lost this entire quiz game. Good thing we double checked. There is actually two white Pikmin. So this is a completely different display. White Pikmin and purple Pikmin. So he was here. I just totally forgot that I ever saw him, but he's one of my favorites. So we have two white Pikmin, one purple, one rock. So the answer is A and B. A and B, purple and rock. Question number five. Out of the entire Miyajima service area, which is the most common Pikmin? Now looking at each display, it's definitely red, yellow, or blue. Unfortunately, our options are A, red, B, blue, C, yellow. So let's get counting. Okay, the final question. The most common Pikmin in this entire service area. Red Pikmin, we have nine. Blue Pikmin, we have 10. And Yellow Pikmin, we found seven. So, finally, Blue Guy gets his moment. B is the final answer. So check this out, this slightly sodden scorecard. There's just one last thing to do. We have to go into the service area itself and go for the goal. In order to show that we've claimed our prize, she stamped each card with this Pikmin P. Now, I, I had tried to communicate that I had actually bought three of these games, but 
I wanted to keep two of them in this pristine condition. So these are not uh, hole punched, but since they got the, the P stamp, they know that I can't just keep claiming prizes over and over again. So we got our three prizes. One for me, one for Gianni, and one for Takesan back home. The quiz rally actually only lasts until 4.30 p.m. while the actual terrace itself is open until 6 p.m. So if you want to do the quiz game, come a little earlier than you're expecting. It came like this, brand new, what's up with that? But you know, Rocky Boy, he's so cute, I'm just gonna keep it like that. It was a bit rainy, but that was a lot of fun, especially the last two questions were actually hard for adults to do too, and we were running around in the rain. So you think just because we've done the, the quiz rally that the fun's over? No, there's still more. If you download the Japanese My Nintendo app and link a Japanese My Nintendo account to it, you have the check-in feature. And I tried to download the app and it would not let me check in using my American account. So I had to go and create a new account for Japan and now finally it's allowing me to check in. And if we show uh, the man behind me, uh, this that we've checked in, he'll give us a nice sticker with the event logo on it. So let's go get that now. So we've got our sticker, and as you can see on the back side, there's a QR code. Now this actually links, if I use it here now, this will link to the Pikmin Finder AR game. Now this has actually been a thing for a while now, but I've never tried it. I don't think it's linked to any particular like area. I think anyone with this QR code can just play the game. So basically what you do is uh, you scan the QR code, it opens up this game in your web browser, and then you find Pikmin in AR. It's kind of similar to um, Pikmin Bloom's AR picture mode. But there we go. So looks like something's growing. So we have to pluck a Pikmin. There he is. He just pops right up. Red Pikmin. All right, let's see what else I can do. It says uh, I should pluck more. There are still Pikmin nearby. Try looking around with your camera to find them. <laughs> there you are. Oh, it's next to you. <laughs> so you're filming me, I'm filming you. I got two Pikmin now. Maybe there's one more around here somewhere. Uh, oh, oh, he's right under my feet. Find treasure. All right, let's see what happens. So there they go. They're going past you. They're going to the Pikmin Terrace poster. Let's go see where they're going. They're going through Starbucks. Where'd they go? They disappeared. They brought me rubber ducky. They're going back to where I like said to hunt for treasure. Treasure, nice. Whoa, so there's actually a bunch of treasures to collect. That's really cool actually. The kinds of Pikmin you find will change based on the time of day. That's really cool. Look around, find all the Pikmin, collect lots of treasures. I'm not gonna go through the whole game right now, but uh, with this QR code, I'll post it on the video. See if it can work and uh, I highly recommend going outside and playing this game. It's actually more, it's more involved than I thought. <laughs> like, this is pretty cool. All right, well, we got a lot to do today still, so sadly, I can't keep playing this. Let's go. I am finally going to pluck my Shrine Pikmin. I need a one white Pikmin. It's a one in 35 chance, but I'm here in front of the Tory Gate to try to get a little more luck. So let's see what I get. It's white. First of all, it's white. First of all, it's white. It's a one in five chance. It all comes down to this. Come on. Come on, this would be so epic. Come on, I need four stars. Two. A little lucky. Just like today, I got a little lucky by getting white. Still didn't finish the set, but makes a fantastic souvenir. 
Now it's my turn to hatch my guy. Um, I still need a lot, so I hope I get lucky. Um, I'm here in front of the three guys to get extra luck. I got yellow. <laughs> no wandering ears around, right? Just between you and me, Niantic has given us some information ahead of time. Now, by the time this video goes out, it's going to be public knowledge, so don't worry about that. But right now, it's top secret for the time being. At this Pikmin Terrace, they are adding a gold present sticker decor. It's called the Spot Challenge. So you need to be in the location of the Pikmin Terrace, and then suddenly you'll get an event mission. And by completing the mission, which is super easy by the way, it's like walking 500 steps, you will unlock a gold present sticker for the Pikmin Terrace. So on the way back from the Pikmin Bloom tour, uh, it goes live April 1st. So the day after the tour, we're gonna be coming back here making a quick stop to unlock the mission. <sighs> you know what? I know for you viewers, it's only been a few seconds, but it has been two full days since we've uh, come to the Pikmin Terrace here. It is actually after the Fukuoka tour. You'll never guess what time it is. It is actually about 1 a.m. Yeah, we came here around 12.30 a.m. on April 1st. It's actually a very small radius. It was smaller than I thought. So if you're actually at the service station itself, you're not gonna pick up this special mission. But if you go a little further to where the actual Pikmin Bloom Terrace is, just maybe 50 meters or less, uh, yeah, you'll totally, just suddenly, you'll get a pop-up saying, oh, it's a spot challenge here. Obviously, we did that in just a few minutes walking around the terrace area, um, and we've unlocked our uh, gold present sticker decor Pikmin. He, he looks great, and it seems once again, uh, regardless of the language that your game is being played in, it'll have the label in Japanese. I thought that the fortune decor Pikmin uh, the, from the special spot was a one one time deal like that's it But apparently it's a one per day deal So if you live in or around Hiroshima and you want to just keep coming back here anytime Yeah, fill up on those uh, shrine pigment because they're really rare It was really tough uh, getting here the trains were almost completely empty We were we were exhausted, but we had to have this chance because we couldn't reschedule the plane and uh, this is like our one chance to come here. So, ah, we're exhausted. Even, even the Pikmin are all sleeping. You can see there's like this mesh net just around everything here. But I think that about wraps it up. Um, this event lasts until uh, August 31st is the last day. So you have until then to unlock the spot challenge and get your 500 steps in, which obviously shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Uh, just don't come here at like 11.50 uh, p.m. on the final day or you'll be struggling like we did today. We decided to stop by the heart of Hiroshima here uh, the next day. Good choice because the weather is fantastic. And as you can see behind me, there is this enormous fountain. Just beautiful in the sunlight here, which is fountaining, of course. We only have a short window of time here before we have to take our afternoon bus over to Fukuoka. Let's go. In my high school history class, I was always struggling to not fall asleep. I'm sorry, Mr. Ashley, but that's the truth. Uh, that is until we got to the lesson on World War II. I've actually seen a picture of this atomic bomb dome in my textbook, and we learned that the bomb has actually detonated above this dome, and either due to the structure of the building or the nature of the blast, uh, somehow this building has stood the test of time. Uh, it's become a symbol of the bombings, and a reminder that we should be seeking peace between countries. And that reminded me of uh, what they had said in the Nagano Mini Walk, where uh, the lights represent uh, the light of peace, and they want to bring those to as many people as possible to end all the conflicts around the world as soon as they can. 
And I know that this is a very heavy topic. Uh, we like to keep it positive on this channel, so I'll leave you with this. Despite the fact that Japan and America have had such a horrible past together, and yet in current day, we are some of the strongest allies in the world. So I hope no matter what conflicts there are around the world today, I hope that other countries will follow our example and form good relationships and bring about peace between all nations. We, uh, we had to catch our train and get headed to Fukuoka, so I'll leave you with that. <laughs>